Getting a computer science degree may be the best decision of your life. With high salaries after graduation, high job placements, and the ability to work on really interesting problems, why wouldn't you want a degree? Well, getting the degree kind of sucks. I made a very similar video about a couple years ago, and uh, a lot has changed then. I'm now a full-time software engineer, and I'm a, I'm a bit further away from my graduation, so now I can look at it with an objective lens, and I could certainly say that, yeah, computer science is hard, but there are plenty of ways to make it easier. And at the end of the day, most things in life worth doing are hard. So in a computer science degree, you'll typically have three types of classes. You'll have coding classes, theory classes, and math classes. Now you would expect computer science to be mostly coding, but it's not. If I break down how many classes I have of each category, I only had six of what I'd call coding classes. Meanwhile, I had seven math classes and 13 theory classes. In a typical computer science degree, you'll have to go up to at least calculus three, typically take a linear algebra class and a discrete maths class. And that's frustrating to a lot of people, considering that most people who go into computer science want to be software engineers, and for 95% of software engineering jobs, you don't need that high-level math. And from my experience, these classes were the primary source of my peers dropping out of the major. So it's important to know what to expect and how to overcome it. Because at the end of the day, it's very easy to be passionate about technology, coding, and creating new things from nothing. It's very hard to get passionate about vector functions and partial derivatives. I get this question all the time. I am bad at math. Should I go into computer? science? And the answer is no. If you're bad at math, you should not go into computer science. But the reality is you're probably not bad at math because just like programming, math is all about problem solving. We start learning math at such a young age and we're constantly building on top of that knowledge that if there is a flaw in the foundation of that knowledge, those deficiencies become more severe the further away we move from those fundamentals. If you don't have a good grasp of algebra and you continue moving on to higher level math classes, it's going to be hard for you to pick up those concepts without understanding the core of algebra first. So here are my three main tips for success when it comes to math and computer science. Tip number one is to relearn the basics. Don't be afraid of learning something because you're already supposed to know it and just really make sure you get those fundamentals. My second tip is don't reach during math placement tests. If you are not confident that you will get an A in that math class that you place in, go to this class beneath it. Just because you place in a class doesn't mean you have to take that class. Go to a class that you feel comfortable in and just solidify those foundations. We need a strong foundation of what we're learning at the beginning of college so that come calculus three and linear algebra, you know what's going on. And tip number three is to utilize summer courses. It has been scientifically proven that having exposure to something every day with deliberate practice makes you better at that topic. And the reality is during a normal semester when you have math maybe once or twice a week, you're not getting that daily practice. You also have the benefit of not having to worry about your other classes if you take a summer course. So to recap, tip number one, relearn the basics. Build that foundation. Tip number two, don't reach for a placement test. If you are not comfortable in your placement test, opt for the lower level class. And tip number three is utilize summer school. In case you're wondering what an actual computer science degree looks like, I break down all of my classes that I took in my degree right over here.